Hello class, for today we're going to continue on the period and the new frequency. Um, we're going to talk about what happens when we have the B value to be something that's not a, a 2. We have been doing a lot of the homework questions when the B value is, was just simply 2, but in other cases what's going to happen and we're going to be talking about that. Now whenever you're given the uh, grid, you, you have to come up with your own grid marks uh, for for the this topic and I'm not going to give you a uh, set of a grid where X scales and Y scales are going to be given to you you need to make sure that you label them correctly and so it's very important and it's paramount that you get this thing organized and make sure you clearly label everything for me to see because otherwise I'm gonna have to take points off even though the graph may be correct, if I can't really understand what your uh, x increments are or your y increments are, then I, I it's going to lead me to a misunderstanding of what amplitude or the frequency might happen to be. So um, let's take a look at this question, and then we're going to be looking at the second question where the b value is not 2, but it's actually 1 half. We talked about how this yesterday was going to make it a lot uh, longer in terms of period, so it's going to be make it a lot um, slower in terms of rate and this means that if the B value is 4 it happens 4 times as fast and that's what I basically what it comes down to now um, all, all the time I need you to be able to identify for me these four things so let's talk about the amplitude first so the amplitude here is going to be 2 the frequency here is going to be 4 because that's the B value. The B value always represents the frequency. How many times how many times does a full wave happen in a given full cycle original of 2 pi? How many full wave happens? New period, the formula was 2 pi over B, which means it's going to be 2 pi over 4. That means it's going to be pi over 2. So a full cycle will happen every 90 degrees or so. Each increment would be the pi over 2 divided by 4, which means I'm going to make each of them to be pi over 8 in this particular case. Now if I were to plot this, I always have to first establish where my middle line is. The middle line here is plus 0, that's my vertical shift, so my midline would be at 0. Amplitude is 2, negative 2 from 0, so that's my max, that's my mid, that's my min. Again, cannot emphasize enough how much, how important it is for you to be able to establish the framework in which you're going to be playing this around with. Now it's sine and it's negative, which means I'm going to start at mid, but then it's going to go to min, then it's going to go back to min, uh, I mean go back to mid. That is the pattern that I need to first set up for. So my first job is to start from the zero, zero, but now the next essential point that happens at mid it happens at pi over 8 and that's the increment in which one I'm gonna make so I make every two increment pi over 8 because I want to make it a little bit elongated as possible pi over 8 um, this would be pi over 4 3 pi over 8 and this would be pi now notice how this is just pi here okay if I were to change the scale up just a little bit in which I make that into a 2 pi so I'm gonna make this into be a let's say pi over 8 uh, pi over 4, 3 pi over 8, and that's pi, 5 pi over 8, 3 pi over 4, I'm sorry, that's not, that's not correct, oh, that's not pi either, so this would be pi over 2 actually, this would be 5 pi over 8, 3 pi over 4, 7 pi over 8, and this would be pi, only 180 degrees. Now, if I were to alternate back from mid, min, and mid, max, and so forth, I'm going to plot those points correspondingly down here, here, here. And then I'm going to alternate amongst these points and constantly go about it. And then what I'm going to end up with is really this nice little wave that happens. And that's one full cycle, one downhill, one uphill. Another cycle, one downhill and one uphill. But remember, there were four cycles into pi. What that really comes out to is two cycles in pi and as you can see two full cycle wave from here that's one from here that's two that's two cycles in a given pi frame. So if I were to extend this more 
by you know having until two pi, I can guarantee you it's gonna happen. Um, oh, that's that's not the right one. One, two, three, four, and then I'm gonna have one wave, one wave, so two additional waves after that to accommodate if I was gonna have it as two pi. But because of the scale of how this graph is given to me, I can't actually go that far. And you're just going to copy and paste what I'm gonna do here. So negative pi over eight, negative pi over four, negative three pi over eight, negative pi over two. You get the idea. Pi over four, negative three pi over two, negative seven pi over eight, and negative pi. And then I'm just going to alternate amongst these guys. Then they, I'm gonna draw the wave in the other direction as well. So this wave, you will have a lot and a lot of these um, waves happening. So you're gonna have a lot and a lot of these waves happening in which um, it's going to create this uh, uh, full cycle of four um, waves at a given two pi frame, okay? Now what I would like you to do is I would like you to pause the video here and I would like you to work on this on your own and once you're done with that and please check with the video and then let me know what happens at the end. Okay, so for this one, my amplitude here is going to be three. My frequency here is going to be one half, which means for my new period, I'm going to have to divide two pi by one half. In other words, I'm going to make 2 pi times 1, uh, oh, divided by 1 half, keep change flip, 2 pi times 2 over 1, which makes it 4 pi. So a full period, a full wave happens every 4 pi uh, of a period. So this means only half wave, half of a wave will happen in a given 2 pi frame. So a full wave, one wave will happen every four pi frame. That's proportionally sound about right. Thankfully, no vertical shift, and each increment will be whatever I have gotten as a new period, four pi, divided by four. So my each increment is going to be pi, which means if I were to plot that onto the xy scale, um, it's going to be elongated, but of course, that's why I adjust my frame so that it works better. If I were to apply the same frame from before, remember, that means that all the way from here to here would be pi. But notice how each increment is pi. So what that means is for cosine, if it starts at max at three, then it's gonna reach the, minim, uh, the middle line here. So my wave will happen like this. This is only a small picture of the entire wave that I'm trying to take a look at. So I don't want to see. I don't want to see that you make the framework to be that um, big. I want you guys to make sure that even though the scale might be different from time to time, but that's the whole purpose of why I'm making you guys to indicate the each increment to be new period divided by four. So here, my vertical shift is uh, zero, so that's my middle line. My amplitude is three, so that's my max. And that's my middle line here. Oh, that's my minimum line, which is down here. Now for cosine, it's going to start at maximum. Then it's going to go to middle. Then it's going to go to minimum. So um, I'm going to start at max. And before I jump the gun and go to the mid, I have to establish where each of my increments is going to be. So I make each, each two increments to be pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, and then I can make this into a 5 pi. Every increment is going to be pi. I keep on adding by pi's. Okay, that means I'm going to subtract pi each way. So I'm going to make it negative pi, negative 2 pi, negative 3 pi, negative 4 pi, and negative 5 pi. So there are goes there, there goes my uh, x scale. Then I'm going to alternate. Max, mid, min, mid, max, middle. And then this goes for the other part as well. And then my final wave will happen like this. And it's going to keep on alternating back and forth. Obviously, it's going to be extended all the way to the positive infinity and to the negative infinity for the x scale. But that will be the answer. Okay? So for today, you're still going to practice these types of graphs. I'm still going to give you the vertical shift to be at plus zero. You're going to be applying amplitude and phase shift 
that is not not phase shift the um the the period uh, the frequency that is not equal to two so you will sometimes see three you will sometimes see i don't know four you will sometimes see one over three one over four and see how that really plays a role in determining the graph your main objective your really the biggest hurdle would be making each increment precise and accurate to apply it to the graph Remember, this graph is what the main purpose of this topic is going to be. So if you're not able to do this properly right now, then you won't be able to do a question where I'm incorporating both phase shift and vertical shift along with the uh, period. So you need, to, I mean, with frequency. So therefore, it's paramount also that you learn how to do this firsthand. We will eventually get to these next week, but for now, make sure you get this down for today. Thank you and have a good day.